just planted some heirloom chard. It's a bit flat at the moment. Some corn for down the back. Uh, hopefully it'll stand up a bit later on today. And I've got some pea mulch. So I'll put some nitrogen in. That's what I have there. Um, heirloom. And I have an heirloom tomato in there. Which is a dark cherry, I think it is. Black cherry. Mm. Shouldn't be eating out of here. So in here, I brought back from some seeded organic potatoes from the organic shop. They're in there. Here we go. We planted the Aceola cherry. She's still looking pretty good, and she will probably fill that corner. And then we've planted the corn. Cute. I'm going to get another punnet today, so we have a little bit more in there. I've just thinned them out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I've got ten now. Okay, so I've got my seeds on here now because get sun in the morning. And that's kale and celery. These haven't sort of picked up yet, it's a little bit flat. Yeah, that's starting to stand up. I've got another heirloom tomato. That's, this is a tomato red fig. So they look quite cute. It was either that or yellow one, but I opted for that one. I've got some basil, so I've got two little basils in here, because this is close to the kitchen. And I've got a spring onion. So I'm not sure if I have to split these out, but they're so delicate, I'll just leave them together. So we'll just put some of this mulch around this. Now this is pea straw, so it will put nitrogen in the soil, and you can see they've actually got the coffee grounds in there as well. So, time will tell. I've put a couple more basils in here. Put them a little bit away from the tree because I know that's going to get big and bushy. And these are going to get big too, so... That's already had the coffee on it as well. So I'll give it that much. So that's down this end. Of course right up the other end is where the other two are. Spring onion. Put the, the hair on there in a minute. I've also Got some more corn, so we've got quite a bit of corn here now. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. We'll just start with the straw on there. Sorry, mate. Okay, so now they're all tucked in. Got a spring onion, and I've left the the um, label there, you know, put the corn label there. Put it down a little bit so we can just play back if we need it. Corn and spring onion. Well, that's why it's nearly full. Oh, another crop of something in here. Got an uh, acer on the cherry and all the rest of the basil. Of course, we've got this to fill in yet. But I'm looking to grow some seeds and get more heirloom stuff in there if possible. And then soon we'll harvest and start making recipes with them. Good morning, my little plants. Look at you. You're all starting to stand out. Look at that. So I was going to pull some of the leaves off. But they're starting to stand out, so I'm just going to leave them. That was completely flat on the ground yesterday. This one still is, so I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Tomatoes are still looking good. Um, no seeds coming up as yet. There's the other tomato, still looking a bit dopey, that one. Let's see how she goes. Spring onion and... Basil. And of course we've got potatoes in here and nothing as yet. It's because it's winter the French pandas have all lost their leaves. This one's getting some back here. Look at those little babies. Beautiful. 
Okay, so this is nearly a week later. I'm starting to stand up on their own quite well now. And I put a bit of celery in there and that started to grow out the middle. And then the tomatoes are still looking good. We've got a beautiful kale coming up now. Still can't see the other one, which is celery that I planted in here. And in here I've got the peas, so I can't see anything yet. Okay, so I've just planted our, our little tree at the front. And our little tree is going to be a big tree. It's going to be about three to four metres. They're beautiful red flowers. It's called a, a Fiji... Claritin or Claritin? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. So it's a beautiful looking tree and it's going to attract all our birds and bees so that they can um, then go into our fruit and veggies and um, pollinate them. So this is just going to go in the lawn and I'm sure Dave will spend many hours out here watching the birdies playing in it. Yep. It's a nice spot here. I've got some minerals in there for her. And yeah, it's going to be a beautiful tree and we'll show you her progress as she grows. This is only one day, it's 24 hours. I had to lose half of what loop. Is that the coconut? Yeah, coconut pupa. It's coconut real pupa. coconut water, so I don't want to lose it. Like from the coconut. Not too bad now. And this is the second time she opened it, I got her to put the lid back on again. Still quite a bit, it's up to about here. 